Hi, Dylan Tussler here from K72. In this little video I'm going to show you how to go about setting up a license for an event. Uh, this is what you need to do if you're going to be running an event which is not a trial event, which has more than a few people in it. You might remember, if we go and have a look at the uh, load tracks for an event, and we pick our test event that we used in the Getting Started videos. When you, uh, when you come into this event and any other event that you don't have a license for, you're going to see a message like this, unlicensed for this event. You do not have a license for this event date, therefore you won't be able to load more than three tracks into this event. Okay, so say you've done all your tests, you're happy with how everything works, and you want to go ahead and get a license for an event. How do you do that? Well, this video is going to show you how that's done. First of all, a few words about the licensing setup for K72's Free Race Master. Uh, you can download the application and use it anytime you want for up to three people in an event. If you want to run an event with more than three people in it, we ask you to purchase a license for the date on which you're running the event. You don't have to purchase the license before you run the event, but you won't be able to load the tracks into the system until you've got the license. So it's not uncommon for us to have organizations that are running K72 Free Race Master and they have the race and then after they've run the race then they buy the license and they load the tracks afterwards. You can create a location, you can create an event, you just can't load tracks into the event until you've got the license. Licenses are date based so let's hop over onto the K72 website and again this is at the moment on the beta K72 website beta.k72.com so you head on over to there and I'm already logged in up here. You're going to need to log in to do this if, you, uh, if you're not logged in. This, this system will prompt you to. You're going to go into Free Race and Purchase. Clicking through to Purchase, here we see the license options that are available. The first thing to note is that you need to type a start date. Well, start date is the date that the event is going to happen on. If you're just happening, having a single event on a particular date, just type that one date into this field. Our sample uh, event was on the 20th of March, so I'm going to pop that in there. 20th of March 2015. There are four different license options available, though if one of those doesn't suit, please feel free to get in touch. A one-day license is valid just for this date here. The two-day license would cover this date and the date after, so the 20th and 21st of March. A seven-day license would cover this date and the six days after, so that's suitable for week-long events and a season license lasts for about four months. When you purchase a license for a date, or for a range of dates, you can run as many events as you like on those dates, on as many computers as you like. The license is entirely transferable. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a one-day license for the 20th of March 2015, and we'll see what happens. That's taken us into the PayPal screen. You can pay with a credit card. Please make sure you put an email address in, otherwise you won't receive your license. I'm going to pay with my PayPal account here. OK, we're back in, and we're going to make this payment. Now notice that the item price is $40. That's Australian dollars, which is about 30, to 30 US dollars presently, 28 euros, around about 20 pounds. I'm in Australia, so I'm being charged 10% GST. So my total is 44 Australian dollars. If you're not within Australia and you're purchasing license, you won't get this 10% GST. There is no sales tax applicable to sales outside of Australia. So I'm going to go ahead and pay now. And that's done. So, license is paid for. What next? Next thing we've got to do is grab the email that came in when we paid for the license. I'm just going to wait for a moment for that email to show up. It usually comes pretty much instantaneously. Okay, so we've got that email in, and here it is. I've got a free race license, some details about it here, and the fact that it's keyed to the email address that was in the payment, which is uh, not the same as the email address in your uh, registered account. So the PayPal payment is the email address that you need to remember. Here's the license key itself, this block of text, and you can select it by dragging your mouse over it and 
clicking copy or pressing control C on the keyboard and we go over to the application and go into licenses enter license key so here's the license entry window the license key text gets pasted in here and the email address that you used to purchase the license with goes here so dy And here we go, the license is valid from the 20th of March to 21st of March 2015. So, and uh, if I come back later, enter another license, that email address is remembered. Now, if we go back into our events, load tracks from the Byron test event you'll see that we no longer get the message about not being able to load more than three tracks to the event. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, hop onto the forum on the website or send me an email. This is Dylan from K72.